the world initially began seeing stupendous pictures of the universe, caught by the strong James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, sent off by NASA. This aggressive and once more weighty undertaking has reformed how we might interpret the universe by sending back a progression of surprising new pictures. These latest visuals have shocked researchers and lovers alike, giving bits of insight that challenge existing speculations and open up new domains of investigation, unlike anything we have ever observed. These pictures offer us a brief look into the most far-off and cryptic areas of the universe, pushing the limits of human knowledge to strange regions. Before we begin, hit the like and subscribe buttons for more select news. The JWST, intended to be the replacement for the Hubble Space Telescope, has surpassed expectations with its advanced infrared capabilities. This allows it to peer deeper into the universe than any other instrument before it. While Hubble gave amazing perspectives on the universe in visible light, the James Webb Telescope principally works in the infrared range. This capability enables it to slice through astronomical dust clouds and uncover the mysteries of star formation, black holes, and early universe development. The telescope's latest pictures have revealed regions of the universe that were previously hidden from us, offering new information about phenomena that have long bewildered space experts. One of the most critical pictures returned by the JWST shows a region of space so far off that it goes back to just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. This period in cosmic history, known as the Dark Ages of the Universe, has been mostly shrouded in mystery. During this time, the first stars and galaxies began to form, and the universe started to emerge from its early stage state. For the first time, researchers are seeing proof of these earliest structures with rare clarity, allowing them to sort out the events that shaped the early universe. In these new pictures, thick billows of gas and dust, stellar nurseries, can be seen giving birth to stars. These regions are among the most violent and turbulent in the universe, where gravity organizes vast amounts of matter to ignite the nuclear reactions that form stars. The JWST has captured intricate details of this process, showing stars in different stages of their development and offering a window into the life cycle of stars in a way that has never been possible before. By studying these pictures, Cosmologists can learn about the conditions under which stars are born and how these processes have changed over billions of years. In addition to stellar nurseries, the James Webb Telescope has also captured images of distant planets, many of which have never been seen before. These worlds are located so far away that their light has taken billions of years to reach us, meaning we are seeing them as they appeared when the universe was still in its infancy. The telescope's unmatched resolution has revealed complex structures inside these galaxies, including massive black holes at their centers and star clusters that are far older than our own Milky Way. These black holes are particularly fascinating, as they challenge our current understanding of how these objects form and evolve. Some of the black holes seen in these pictures are much larger and surprisingly active for their stage in the universe's history. Theories about how black holes evolve often suggest that they start as small, dense objects that gradually accumulate mass over time by consuming surrounding matter. However, the JWST data suggests that some black holes may have formed fully developed or experienced rapid growth, forcing cosmologists to reconsider their models of black hole evolution. The pictures of these early galaxies also raise questions about how galaxies themselves form and evolve. Some of the galaxies seen by the JWST are remarkably well-organized, with defined spiral arms and central bulges, despite being so young in cosmic terms. This level of organization is astonishing, as it was previously believed that galaxies in the early universe would be more chaotic and irregular in shape due to the violent processes involved in their formation. The discovery of these well-formed galaxies suggests that galaxy formation may have occurred much more quickly than previously thought, which has significant implications for how we understand the universe's early years. The JWST has also provided a stunning new perspective on one of the most puzzling objects in the universe, exoplanets. These are planets that orbit stars outside our solar system, and while thousands of exoplanets have been discovered in recent decades, we still know very little about their atmospheres and their potential for supporting life. The James Webb Telescope's infrared capabilities have allowed researchers to study the chemical compositions of exoplanet atmospheres more closely than ever before. Some of the new pictures and data have revealed surprising findings, including the presence of water vapor, methane, 
and other organic molecules on certain exoplanets. These discoveries are especially exciting because they bring us closer to answering one of the most profound questions in science. Are we alone in the universe? The presence of organic molecules in an exoplanet's atmosphere doesn't necessarily mean that life exists on these planets, but it suggests that the building blocks of life are more common in the universe than previously thought. These discoveries could ultimately lead to the identification of habitable worlds beyond our solar system, potentially altering the way we think about life in the universe. The JWST's new pictures also provide valuable insights into the final stages of stellar life. The telescope has captured detailed views of supernova remnants, vast, colorful clouds of gas and dust left behind after a star explodes. These remnants are not only beautiful but also scientifically significant, as they are the sites where many of the heavier elements in the universe are created. When a star goes supernova, it releases enormous amounts of energy, which fuses lighter elements like hydrogen and helium into heavier ones like carbon, oxygen, and iron. These elements are then scattered across space, becoming part of new stars, planets, and eventually life itself. The James Webb Space Telescope's new pictures, which delve into the earliest parts of the universe's existence, have opened a window into a cosmic story we could barely comprehend before. What makes these pictures particularly moving is not just their beauty, but their ability to unlock secrets of the universe that were once entirely out of reach. These never-before-seen scenes of distant galaxies, nebulae, and cosmic structures are driving us to rethink what we assumed we knew about the universe. While the pictures of distant galaxies and exotic phenomena have captured the public imagination, one of the most astonishing discoveries made by the JWST involves objects much closer to home, the outer reaches of our own solar system. The telescope's infrared sensors have been able to study the cold worlds at the edges of the solar system, revealing new details about their composition and surface features. For example, the telescope captured a detailed image of Pluto's moon Charon, revealing a complex landscape of frozen fields and mountain ranges that were previously invisible to us. These observations of the outer solar system could help scientists understand the formation of planetary bodies in cold, distant regions of space. The Kuiper Belt, a vast region of space beyond Neptune that contains thousands of icy objects, has long been a mystery to astronomers. The JWST's ability to study these objects in detail could provide new insights into how planets form in the outer reaches of planetary systems, offering clues about how our own solar system came to be. Beyond individual discoveries, the James Webb Space Telescope is also helping to answer one of the greatest questions in cosmology. How did the universe evolve into its present state? By capturing images of galaxies, stars, and planets at different stages of their evolutionary process, the telescope is helping to create a timeline of cosmic history. These observations allow researchers to trace the development of galaxies and stars over billions of years providing a more complete picture of the universe's past, present, and future. One of the key discoveries from the JWST's latest pictures is the realization that the universe's early years were much more active than previously thought. The pictures show galaxies forming at a faster rate than expected, with intense bursts of star formation occurring in rapid succession. This challenges the long-held view that the early universe was relatively calm, with galaxy formation happening slowly over billions of years. Instead, it seems that the first few hundred million years after the Big Bang were a time of extraordinary activity, with galaxies quickly forming and evolving in ways that scientists are only just beginning to understand. The James Webb Space Telescope's ability to look so far back in time is largely due to its unprecedented sensitivity. By observing in the infrared range, the telescope can detect the faintest traces of light that have traveled billions of light years across space. This light, emitted by stars and galaxies in the early universe, has been stretched and redshifted over time as the universe expands. The JWST's ability to capture this ancient light allows scientists to see objects that are so far away their light has taken almost the entire age of the universe to reach us. In addition to looking deep into the past, the JWST is also providing a new perspective on the structure of the universe itself. The pictures reveal vast cosmic webs of dark matter and galaxies stretching across the universe like a spider's web. These networks, formed by the gravitational pull of dark matter, are the backbone of the universe's large-scale structure. By mapping these structures, 
scientists hope to better understand the role that dark matter plays in the formation and evolution of galaxies. The JWST's pictures provide a clearer view of these enormous networks than ever before, offering new clues about the nature of dark matter and its impact on the universe. As the James Webb Space Telescope continues to send back new images, it is becoming increasingly clear that we are entering a new era of discovery in cosmology. The telescope's ability to see farther and more clearly than any previous instrument is revolutionizing our understanding of the universe, providing answers to age-old questions while raising new ones. Each new image reveals a universe that is more complex and beautiful than we ever imagined, full of wonders that challenge our understanding of space, time, and the fundamental nature of reality. One of the most intriguing aspects of these new discoveries is how they challenge existing models of cosmic evolution. Take, for example, the idea of cosmic inflation, a rapid expansion of the universe immediately following the Big Bang. While the concept has been widely accepted, JWST revelations are showing that the universe's early years may have been far more dynamic than previously suspected. The remarkable detail provided by the JWST of the first galaxies formed within the first few hundred million years after the Big Bang suggests that galaxy formation may have occurred more quickly and under more extreme conditions than standard inflationary models predict. These galaxies, far from being small and chaotic as once expected, appear to be much more organized. They display properties such as high star formation rates and are made up of materials that indicate advanced chemical compositions. These findings suggest that the universe was able to develop more rapidly than models had predicted, forcing astrophysicists to reconsider their assumptions about how stars and galaxies formed in the universe's early billions of years. Additionally, the discovery of early supermassive black holes, an anomaly seen in some of these distant galaxies, presents another significant challenge. Scientists have long puzzled over how such enormous black holes could have formed so early in the universe's history. Given that black holes are typically thought to form from the collapse of massive stars, a process that would likely take longer than what these early black holes seem to suggest. JWST's sharp imaging capabilities have uncovered evidence of black holes with millions of times the mass of the Sun, existing when the universe was less than a billion years old. This remarkable discovery raises important questions about how black holes can grow so quickly in such a short period of time. These observations also provide a crucial new perspective on the role that black holes may have played in shaping the early universe. The energy released by growing black holes in the form of radiation and powerful jets of charged particles may have influenced the formation and evolution of galaxies. This interaction between supermassive black holes and their host galaxies is an area of research that JWST images have helped to illuminate. By studying these early black holes and their effects on surrounding gas and stars, Scientists can begin to understand how galaxies were shaped in the first billion years of the universe's history. But black holes and galaxies aren't the only strange entities illuminated by JWST's cutting-edge instruments. The telescope is also shedding light on one of the universe's most elusive components, dark matter. The James Webb Space Telescope isn't just revealing astronomical phenomena. It's also providing critical data that informs our understanding of fundamental astrophysical processes. For example, the telescope's observations of the cosmic microwave background have enhanced our insights into the universe's earliest conditions, shedding light on its evolutionary history and the nature of dark energy. This background radiation, a remnant from the Big Bang, is essential for figuring out the timeline of cosmic development. Additionally, the JWST is helping to refine our models of stellar evolution by observing various types of stars at different stages of their life cycles. Astronomers can investigate the processes that govern stellar nucleosynthesis, the creation of heavier elements inside stars. This research is vital for understanding how elements essential for life are distributed throughout the universe. Furthermore, the JWST's ability to capture the atmospheres of exoplanets using transit methods allows scientists to study seasonal changes and atmospheric dynamics. Such detailed observations could lead to the discovery of potential biosignatures indicators that life could exist on these distant worlds.